Our salvation is not just about going to heaven. It's living now, fully pleasing to the Father and bearing good fruit for his kingdom. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ with the mind of love and a firm determination to get to know God more fully, we find these are natural desires that flow from our salvation, from which is a free gift from God through Jesus' death and resurrection. In Colossians 1, 8-23, we see Paul's prayer for those who repented of their sins and put their faith in Jesus. It seems salvation is, the only, is only the beginning of life of love in the Holy Spirit. Verse 9, Paul says, The leadership does not cease in praying and making special requests for all believers, specifically that we may all be filled with knowledge, the knowledge of God and His will for us. He also asks that we be filled with all spiritual wisdom, understanding, and discernment. Why? Verse 10, so that we may walk following Jesus in a manner worthy of the Lord and desire to please him in all things. Also, that we may bear fruit in everything we put our hand to, especially as we grow steadily grow and increase in our knowledge of God. Paul knows this can be a grueling life. So he asked Father in verse 11 to invigorate or energize us and strengthen us with full power, giving God all the glory in our endurance, patience with joy. Simultaneously, verse 12, giving thanks to our Father for bringing us out of darkness into his glorious light. Specifically, verse 13, he delivered us to himself through Jesus into his kingdom. Verse 14, in him we have been redeemed, our sin penalty fully paid, thanks to his blood which washed away our sins. Verse 20, thus making peace between God and us so that uh, by the means of the blood of Jesus' cross. Verse 22, now that we are seen as holy and faultless, able to approach the Father, we can be in his presence. Verse 23, all we need do is continue to believe, not doubting or moving away from hope in the good news offered to every person under heaven. Words of encouragement, Jeremiah 1.12, the Lord says, I am alert and active, watching over my word to perform it. With that in mind, we could take what we've learned in Colossians 1 and turn it into a prayer for ourselves. Something to the effect, Lord, fill us with knowledge of you and your will for us. Fill us with wisdom and spiritual understanding and discernment so that we may walk following Jesus, fully pleasing to you and bearing fruit for your glory. Inspire and motivate us, O Lord. Strengthen us so we may endure. Thank you for redeeming us and washing away our sins, delivering us from evil and transferring us into your kingdom. Now help us to rule and reign and have dominion here on earth as we await Jesus' second coming. Have a great day.